Hi right, guys, this is Hero. How's everyone doing today? I just brother came to I just sub case hope. So today I'm going over 2.5 years. Okay, my 2.5 year milestone without social media. Now, this has been a very interesting milestone. Okay, I make a video every six months. Now, this video is probably going to be the most different than the six months. Okay, why? Because after up until about two years. Okay, I'm looking at it objectively just from this standpoint in this current time. You're kind of still in the loop, right? You kind of still know some trends and influencers and things like that that were possibly around when you were still using it. Now, I feel like there's all kinds of trends that I guess you could say I missed out on or influencers that I have no idea who they were. If they were to be sitting right next to me, I would just think they're a normal person, right? Which is kind of how you would want to perceive any person, right? You just want to perceive them as just a blank slate and get to know them, you know, a little bit more genuinely, right? But that's beside the point. So into the 2.5 year, right? So first thing is just to lay off the bat of how much I'm still using social media. So my journey started with deleting Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook, right? All these apps off my phone um, and YouTube off my phone also, right? And you might be wondering how I'm posting this video. I'll get to that in a second. At the beginning, there was a much higher frequency, right? And if you've watched my previous videos every six months of no social media, the frequency went down. Facebook and Twitter, I have absolutely zero desire to check. And Instagram and Snapchat, I literally only checked once for a very specific purpose. Okay, somebody literally said, like, it's for a very specific purpose, okay? I have zero desire to check them, right? And I might have said something along these lines in the past, but at the end of the day, I still checked it multiple times. But this time, I literally only checked those two once. So it's like on my computer, right? Snap was on the phone because you have to use it on the phone, I think. Uh, actually, no, you can use it on the computer, but it's it's like a headache. You have to like scan this code and stuff. But so I just did it on the phone, right? But I literally only got them once. So I could make the argument you know, that my actual desire is gone. Like if it wasn't for those two extremely isolated reasons, I actually would not have checked them, right? And if there's not a similar reason in the next six months, I won't check them, right? So in my opinion, my desire to check them is over, okay? Next is the, a part of that is because of the different type of content, right? So I never got TikTok, okay? And a lot of the content online has switched to, more of these like shorter time frame content, right? Like Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts, or like TikTok has always been shorter, right? I never really got hardwired or hooked on that, right? I always, even the times I've checked it, or I'm not even sure if when I deleted them, if these were kind of coming alive or these were kind of starting, but I never really, I intentionally avoided shorter content because I knew the danger of it, right? So consciously, I don't really have an appeal for them. Okay, so that's good. Now, YouTube, you might be wondering, okay, how are you uploading this video? Well, I deleted it off my phone, and I would, actually, at the beginning, when I first started this channel, my phone camera was broken. I had a really old iPhone. So, and I actually talked about this in my first, my six-month mark, um, and how that actually started my whole journey, my camera breaking, my phone camera breaking, because that prevented me from doing stories and then that led to this and that and i'll talk about that more in that video right but right now i just upload it from uh uh youtube studio okay but then there was a phase where like i got a new phone but i was still like up i was uploading it from my brother's phone or my grandfather's phone or something right i was not i never i never really had the app on my phone now i do watch youtube right youtube's probably the only i guess you can say like content thing that i still entertain or am a part of right but i try to say i'm a little bit monitored on how i view it right why because i view it on incognito mode in the browser right so it's like every time i go there's the algorithm doesn't kind of know what to feed me because i'm on incognito mode and i'm not signed in so i just like i i am i'm intentional on who i want to watch right and that's kind of phase one of me kind of cutting back on youtube okay um, another thing is like TV, right? Like my motivation to really watch TV has kind of 
completely disappeared. Okay, because just like my desire to watch, I mean, view social media has disappeared. Why? Because it's not really real, right? Whatever you're watching on social media, it's just something that someone wants to put out. It's not actually real stuff, right? And what I, what I mean by that is, because you know, there's a lot of people that create content, like including myself, right? I mean, I'm posting YouTube videos, but it's it's. It's for the most part, it's not very genuine, right? It's not like um, very candid, right? It, like this video, I'm just recording, and that whatever I do is coming up. I'm not editing it. I'm not like I'm just gonna take a thumbnail from like a screenshot of the video. I'm not adding any music or anything like that, right? I'm just doing that, right? Uh, most social media like stuff is like edited in some type of way to. Um, presented in a different light, okay? Uh, especially pictures, right? Because pictures, I mean, somebody's only gonna post certain type of pictures, right? But my point is I don't really have any desire to view that, right? Because I know that that's not real, right? Like I'm not hooked on that dopamine. I'm not hooked on that, oh, I see this person doing something really, you know, that the picture perceives as, as cool or something like that, right? I, I really don't care, okay? And that's why I also don't wanna watch TV anymore, right? Because all the cool stuff that people are doing in the TV, right? Like, I don't I don't care, right? Like, how is that gonna affect me, right? I'm not gonna get close to the TV characters, right? On social media, right? I mean, some of them I know in real life, most of them I know in real life. I've never really been the type to like follow like famous people and stuff on social media. But the people that I'm really close to, I'm gonna talk to them and hang out with, right? And I have another side point about that that I'll cover in a second. But I would rather just, for the most part, do stuff in my real life, right? Like if I want to go hiking, I'll go hiking, right? I don't need to watch a TV show or see someone post a vlog about how, you know, adventurous their weekend was, right? If I want to, I'll just go to like Colorado myself and do something, right? If I, I want to have an adventure, like if I'm in that mode, I'm going to get, I'm going to get out of the house and I'm going to do something, right? If I want to, you know, have a challenge or something challenge, rather than watching a vlog on like, you know, this blah, blah, blah challenge, I will, you know, go to the gym and challenge myself for a month on, you know, increasing my bench press or something like that, right? I'm not, I'm not really enticed on, you know, anything in this fake artificial world anymore, okay? That brings me to my next point, the relationships, right? A lot of my friendships, right? And you can even say even relationships with people that I talk to, they get, they are getting filtered out at an alarming rate if, um, they are also not on the same frequency, right? Most of the people that I talk to, either friends or whatever, they are not very active on social media, okay? And I have a theory behind this, right? I'm not sure about this theory, but this is my thing. Okay, so a lot of the content had, first of all, just using social media is obviously harming to your brain, right, in excess. And then the way this new content is, is even more harming, right? It's even more dopamine. Uh, damaging and all this kind of stuff. So people who are not on it, their brains are not as you know altered. So they have an ability to carry a more genuine and lengthy conversation, right? Versus people that I've noticed, and unfortunately people very close to me that are using social media very frequently, it almost seems like every other sentence or every third sentence, sometimes every sentence is very targeted. And what I mean by that is they are not you know, um, subconsciously there's a block on actually being or saying themselves, right? I, in real life, have almost no filter. I will say whatever, right? A lot of the people, they will construct their sentences or their word choice or their string of a few sentences together to basically present almost like an image that, hey, if I were to say something like this with this body language and this kind of and this kind of demeanor, you should perceive me as a person that has this type of character or whatever, right? Now it's all, I'm not gonna say fake, but it's all artificial kind of. Uh, and it's not real, right? I can kind of see through that, right? Now, unfortunately, I mean, this is just a part of the world, right? We all say things with a certain intent, right? Including myself. But the people who are using like social media and stuff like that, like a lot, they tend to do this a little bit more and a little bit more extreme. So that kind of, for myself, it hinders the amount that I would want to communicate with them, right? Because if every other sentence you're saying 
is basically subconscious for a purpose so that I can perceive you in a certain way. And I'm very cognizant of that, man, it is really draining to have a conversation with you right now. I'll do it once in a while, right? Some of these are old friends and stuff, but man, it, it like I said, it really takes a toll on some of your friendships, right? And, you know, it limits a lot of the stuff. Um, but yeah, it, that will tie me into my isolation point, right? You do feel a little isolated, right? You're, you're a little bit out of the loop. I don't know any influencers from the last, <clears throat> that, you know, excuse me, that came up in the last couple of years, right? I don't know any, any trends, right? I, I know a couple of them from YouTube and the people that I watch, but or like if my brother tells me something, but it's not, it's not a lot, right? There's a lot of things that I like that, that I'm like, I've, I've grown to be very, very passionate about a lot of things, right? Like hiking, the gym, right? Like um, boxing, mm, like a lot of stuff, right? But like, these are not things I would have started without cutting off social media. Now, also, some people have these uh, these passions, right? But I notice overall in general, I have a lot more stronger passions that I am actually active on on a monthly basis versus other people. Like I just named three, but like I can name like so much more. Like I pray every morning, right? Like I, I'm very energetically invested in a lot of things, right? Like, like praying, I mean, you can even count like going on walks, right? Like, like there's a lot of stuff that I do. I, like I said, you could just say on a monthly basis, right? That like a lot of people, like you ask them what they do. It's like, yeah, I went to work. You know, I might've gone to the gym. I mean, I, I mean, I hung out with some friends. I ate some food, right? But like out any other hobbies or something, they might not have, right? And that's also kind of why I started this YouTube channel, right? Because like a hobby of mine or passion of mine is helping people, right? So, I mean, I spent a lot of time on that. Now, I understand not everybody has a YouTube channel with like over a thousand subscribers, but there's other things that you can do, right? Like, um, I started washing my car recently. Like, I have never like, been the type to like go out of my way to wash my car, right? But like, these are like habits that like I just do now. Like, I almost feel like, like, you know those old guys that just, like, they do stuff like that? Like, they wash their car on the weekend. Now, I'm not saying I wash my car every weekend, but it's, like, it'll be, like, every few weeks or something, right? Like, I mean, I think that, personally, for me, it's a step in the right direction, right? Um, yeah, my interest in watching sports has gone way down, right? Now, I live in the South Florida area. Uh, unfortunately, um, my Dolphins and my Heat did not do that good. I only really watch... Those, right? Because I don't like, I don't like to go just completely like cold turkey on stuff, right? Like, for example, even social media, like for example, technically I did even 2.5 months in, in the past six months, I did check it once on the computer, right? So it's like, when my team will make the playoffs, if they're doing kind of good, I'll start watching them then, right? But I mean, the Heat didn't do that good this year. I don't even remember what the Dolphins did, but the point is, I mean, I know they didn't win, but, um, uh, Point is, my interest in just keeping up with that is just at an all-time low, right? It has absolutely no effect on your life. I, I think I might have said this in one of my other videos, but now, like, the more and more you go, the more and more really you don't care, right? Um, the other thing is my actual, like, relationships, like, they're a lot healthier, right? Like, because you care of just being more genuine, you're able to deal with stuff in a lot more genuine manner, right? Imagine if you're trying to put up a front with yourself all the time, right? Because of some of your bad habits like watching social media. If that's gone and you're able to be more real with yourself, you're able to make a lot stronger changes in your life, right? So that's something that's been a little, like more of a highlight in the past six months as well. Mm. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Um, oh, I started getting into stretching recently. This is a little bit recently. Like I've always known like the benefits of stretching, right? But like lately it's been like more, like I'm doing a little bit of stretching it like almost daily. Now I'm not saying I'm doing like our routines and stuff like that, but I'm doing quite a bit more stretching than usual. Okay. Um, I started noticing that randomly I'll focus on my breath. Like usually I'd only focus on my breath. Like during meditation and stuff. But like randomly, I'll just be like, you know, are we breathing? Like, you know, stuff like that. 
not like are we actually obviously we're always actually breathing but like are we actually you know being conscious about our breath okay um uh yeah okay i think that's it i'm at the 15 minute mark so i'll cut it off here before it gets too long if you have any questions or comments as usual feel free to let me know and until next time i will talk to everyone later thank you all very very much for watching